Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Bill from Open Door Baptist Church in Moorhead City, and thanks for coming back for another Word of Encouragement, a weekday video series that we're putting out to help us all to put our eyes and minds back onto God's hope-filled, life-giving words of encouragement in the Bible. And today we're going to look, take a look at a few verses out of Ezekiel chapter 36. Ezekiel was a prophet who had many hard things to say to Israel, and uh, there are a few places uh, in the book of Ezekiel where God's uh, words of encouragement really shine through. And this is one of them, Ezekiel 36, beginning in verse 22. We read, Therefore say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, It is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. And I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, and which you have profaned among them. And the nations will know that I am Yahweh, declares the Lord God. God, when through you I vindicate my holiness before their eyes, I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness and from all your idols. I will cleanse you, and I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from, with, from your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey all my rules." Well, this is, I hope, an encouraging passage of Scripture to you because God shows in this passage that it is not on our shoulders. It wasn't on the shoulders and the responsibility of the people of Israel and neither for us today is it on our shoulders to vindicate his holiness, but instead he is the one who is putting a new heart and a new spirit within us. His spirit he places within us so that he can vindicate and justify his holy name. I love this, that he says that he is putting this spirit within us so that we will then be clean and in our cleanness, then we can obey all of his statutes and his laws. This is so important for us to understand the grace of God, that he finds us in our uncleanness and in our shame. He places a new spirit within us, and then we are then clean and able to obey him. And all of this is for his sake and not for our renown, not for our glory, but for his glory alone. Well, I hope that this is encouraging to you, and I hope that you'll tune in tomorrow for another word of encouragement.